Hello everybody, me, Patrick Smith, for Cure for Ignorance and Gun Safe Academy in Omaha, Nebraska. We're going to talk about gun permits in Nebraska and Omaha today. Uh, we're going to start with talking about uh, county purchase permits. We're going to talk about uh, handgun registration with Omaha Police. We're going to talk about uh, open carry permits and we're going to talk about concealed carry permits. Um, start with county purchase permits. Uh, if you do not have a concealed carry permit and you want to buy a handgun in Nebraska, you must have a handgun purchase permit. This is available through your county sheriff's department. Uh, so in Omaha, Douglas County is the word place to go. Uh, this is in response to the 1994 Violent Crime Control and Law Enforcement Act, also called the Clinton Crime Bill. Uh, that was passed in 1994, sunset in 2005. It is no longer federal law. Uh, but what that said is that it made a mandatory five-day waiting period to buy a handgun. The idea being if I have a really bad beef with my buddy on Monday, I go to buy my pistol. Uh, I can't have the pistol until Friday. Between Monday and Friday, we have made up and shook hands and I don't end up shooting my friend. Uh, ridiculous. Uh, absolutely ridiculous. Um, like I said, the, the gun is not the dangerous part. Uh, people were killing each other long before we had firearms. So, you know, they're using spears and knives and people still use baseball bats and hammers. Uh, it is no longer federal law. That five-day waiting period to buy a handgun is no longer federal law. Uh, but Nebraska's response to it was a purchase permit. So I could go get a purchase permit. Uh, they would mail that to me a week later. Then I could take that purchase permit into a firearms dealer. And that showed that I had waited my mandatory week. So I could then buy the pistol and take it home the same day because I had already waited the week because I had the purchase permit. Again, it's no longer federal law. Uh, but if you live in Nebraska and you do not have a concealed carry permit, you must still get the purchase permit. Anymore, they do the background check, and if they're not busy, they hand it to you over the counter the same day. Because, again, the whole reason for it, the federal law has sunset, but it's a tax, and the tax will never go away. Uh, second thing we'll talk about, uh, registering concealable firearms, that's pistols, with Omaha Police Department. Uh, if you live in the city limits of Omaha, easy way to pick this out. If you look at your driver's license, and your driver's license says Omaha, then you live in Omaha. Very simple. If you live in Omaha, you must register concealable firearms with the City of Omaha Police. Uh, you have to call and make an appointment. Actually, I think they stopped doing the appointment thing. Um, yeah, you go down there, uh, you can only register, I think, three handguns at a time. Um, so if you have more than that, you have to make several trips. Um, if you live in the City of Omaha and you buy a firearm a pistol in the City of Omaha, you have to take the paperwork. Buy the pistol, take the paperwork showing you purchased the pistol, go down to Omaha Police, register the pistol, take your registration back out to where you bought the pistol, pick the pistol up because now it's been registered, and then take it home. They have misapplied this law for years so that, let's say I have a family uh, in town from uh, Norfolk. They don't live in Omaha. They come to Nebraska, they buy a firearm, uh, a pistol in Omaha. Omaha Police Department will make them register the pistol with the city of Omaha before they can pick it up and take it back to Norfolk. Uh, ridiculous. The registration should only apply, and it was meant to only apply, to Omaha residents. So making someone who lives out of town or out of state register a firearm a pistol uh, is a misapplication of law, but it often happens. Um, <clears throat> third thing I'm talking about is an open carry permit. This is to carry a pistol on your hip in the open. Uh, this can get hairy, okay? Uh, it is legal to carry open carry on your hip in the state of Nebraska, okay? Everywhere except the city of Omaha. In the city of Omaha, you must have what is called an open carry permit, or they call it a handgun identification card. Um, the only person this is good for is uniform security. If you are working security and you have a badge displayed and you have a uniform displayed and you have a gun displayed, you're probably gonna be good. If you are wearing jeans and t-shirt and a pistol on your hip, or a hoodie and a pistol on your hip, or anything but a uniform and a badge and a pistol on your hip, people are going to freak out, people are going to call the police, and people are going to uh, say that you have disturbed their peace. And disturbing the peace is something really easy to prove. They have to have a complaining witness that's not a police officer whose peace was disturbed. So you might not get in trouble for carrying the gun, but you will certainly get in trouble for disturbing the peace. So do not carry a gun unless you are uniform security. Um, <clears throat> again, it is legal in the entire state of Nebraska to open carry on your hip. The only place you need a permit for that is Omaha. Do not get an open carry permit unless you are working on uniform security and you need the open carry permit for your job. So security, armored car guy, that kind of thing, get the permit. Everyone else, forget the last two minutes of this video. Uh, last thing we'll talk about is the Nebraska concealed carry permit. 
Um, in order to get the concealed carry permit, you must have a, a, a class by a certified instructor like us at Gun Thief Academy. Um, in order to get the open carry permit, uh, real quick, you need an NRA basic pistol course or you have to take the safety councils course, uh, handgun course, in order to get the permit. Uh, because I'm an NRA certified instructor, uh, my father gave me this class. I he signed the certificate. I took it down to Omaha Safety Council, 15 bucks, and I got my open carry permit. Uh, concealed carry permit. You have to take a class from a certified instructor. Um, once you have proof of training, take out the state patrol. Uh, there's an application form. Must be signed and notarized. Um, if you don't have any disqualifying information in your background and if you meet the requirements, they, it's a shall issue state, it means they have to give you the permit if there are no disqualifying things in your background. Uh, and then once you have a concealed carry permit, you no longer need to have a county purchase permit because that's a, a county background check and we're talking about a state permit so it, it supersedes the county permit. Uh, and you no longer have to register concealable firearms with the Omaha police for as long as your permit is good. So if you have a state permit, you no longer no need don't need the purchase permit anymore and don't want to register firearms, your, your pistols with Omaha police anymore. There is no registration for shotguns or rifles or long guns in Omaha, okay, uh, or the entire state of Nebraska. The only thing that Omaha is worried about was pistols and again, once you have a concealed carry permit, you no longer have to register your concealable firearms with Omaha police. So that's the breakdown. That is county purchase permit, that is open carry permits, that is registration and concealable firearms with Omaha police, and that is the concealed carry permit in a nutshell. Um, thanks for watching. Again, Patrick Smith, Cure for Ignorance, and Gun Safe Academy in Omaha, Nebraska. Talk to you later.